It is Monday, May 13th, and today I'm just wondering if the marriage may have finally found the right combination. And now a word from our title sponsor. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. There's been a significant development in your laundry room, laundry detergent sheets, not dryer sheets, but the same concept. Paper thin, remarkably efficient. Just toss one into your load of clothes and voila, sparkling clean and smelling great. And as a plus, they're hypoallergenic for those with sensitive skin. Jugs of detergent, jugs that just wind up in trash heaps. It's easy to get your laundry detergent sheets. Just go to the link in today's podcast episode. Introducing Star Power Smart Home Solutions, where cutting edge technology meets effortless living. Control your entire home with just a tap on your smartphone. Adjust the lights, set the perfect temperature, and ensure your home is secure, all from the palm of your hand. Star Power has the experts that will transform your house into a secure smart home. Experience the ultimate solution in comfort and security for your family. Get started at GetStarPower.com. Star Power, where innovation meets home. The Maverick search has now gone on for six years. They knew that Luka Doncic was going to be a star. Could they assemble the right parts around him has always been the question with this team. Well, let's take a brief walk down Luka memory lane. Uh, this, This may bring back some bad memories for you Maverick fans. In his rookie year, Do you remember some of this stuff? DeAndre Jordan was the starting center. Dennis Smith Jr. was a starting guard. There was Wes Matthews playing big minutes and Powell and Berea as subs and some guy named Nowitzki hanging around for his last season, averaging seven points a game. And in his second year, they acquired Kristaps Porzingis. And they also added Seth Curry and Trey Burke and DeLon Wright. Where are those guys now? And, and that wasn't the right combination. So the next year, the Mavericks added Josh Richardson and Willie Cauley-Stein and James Johnson. Finally, Jalen Brunson started to emerge from the bench, but the Mavericks still didn't have the right combo. And then in 21-22, it was Spencer Dinwiddie who'd come along, and Reggie Bullock was a starting forward. And do you remember that Frank Nilakina played 58 games here, and they'd acquired Davies Bertans? And Sterling Brown. And by the way, that season, Powell played all 82 games for the Mavericks. That wasn't the right combination. So last year, what has happened to Christian Wood? (laughs) He was supposed to be a major part of this team. Uh, Underline supposed to be. And... Do you remember JaVale McGee? Oh, Lord, have we had a worse signing? And Brunson, Brunson got away for nothing. For nothing. But late in the season, the club acquired Kyrie Irving. But that that didn't work. And the Mavericks were a lottery team? And finally this year, hey, we're everything's great, but 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 wait. The year started with 
big minutes for Grant Williams at one forward, for Seth Curry. And do you remember the acquisition of center Rashawn Holmes? The Mavericks still at the start of this year didn't have the right combination. They were still searching. Now, now they had added forward Derek Jones and forward guard Dante Exum, and they drafted an interesting rookie center in Derek Lively. But then the trade deadline. They acquired forward P.J. Washington from Charlotte and center Daniel Gafford from Washington. And it took a while. Jason Kidd tinkered with some various lineups. But then he settled on the one the Mavericks are using now. And that's Gafford to start with Jones and Washington the forwards and Irving and Doncic at the guards. To close the season, that lineup went 16-2. and two. Forget the last two meaningless games of the season. The Mavericks lost because they were resting people. 16-2. and two. And now if you, if you count the playoffs, that rotation, that lineup, is 20-4. and four. Might this be the right mix finally? Well, Irving and Washington have become legit second and third scorers. Wait a minute. I don't think Irving should be called a second scorer. He's 1A. Yes, Doncic averages more points. But Irving has been capable of taking over games and he's done so many times over the last couple of months of this season. Gafford and Lively defend the middle. Jones and Exum play defense. All that's nice to say. Oh, why is there such encouragement here? It's because Doncic has been hurt. Strange statement. Doncic has been hurt, and the Mavericks are still winning. In Game 3 of the Clippers series, Doncic hurt a knee, and he's since added an ankle injury. And he's, he's not right. You can just watch him and know he's not right. Since that knee injury, the Mavericks have played six games. Luca sucked it up, and he's played all six. But he shot 42% from the field. A ghastly 23% on three-pointers. Against Oklahoma City, Doncic scores in the 30s for the season, has averaged only 23 points a game. You can look at Luca and know. He's not right. But the Mavericks are 4-2 and two since he's been playing hurt. Irving and Washington have taken turns carrying this team at times. The Mavs now defend the paint, and they do not allow offensive rebounds. Saturday's game against Oklahoma City was physical. I mean physical. Those two teams banged on each other, and the referees let it go. By the way, much to the stress of Luca, who complained about 117 times during the game that a call had been missed. But the Mavericks would not have won games like this in the past. They would have not won games if Luca wasn't right. And those Mavs of the last several years. You could bang on them, and they'd eventually back away. I don't see that in this team. They're tougher. They win grinder games, like Saturday. The unit is meshing, and Irving is taking over games. Remember what it was either Luca took over a game or nobody took over a game? That's not true anymore. 
and that team that's found itself, that rotation, it is so encouraging. And the best part is that they're winning without the best Luka. This is encouraging for the rest of these playoffs, but it's especially encouraging going forward. Today's episode brought to you by Fluent Financial, Retire Sooner, Better Lifestyle, and by Star Power, Love Where You Live. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at fanstreamsports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit follow. And every weekday, a fresh new episode of Just Wondering will be delivered right to you. And if you enjoy this podcast, please share it with a friend. Finally, should you have questions or comments, please share them with us by going to X and our address at Norm's Clubhouse. That's Just Wondering with Norm Hitzkus. And every day, I'll be just wondering about something. And I'm Mary Hitchkiss, and I'm just wondering too.